Many of you know the story of Katie Sepich, a New Mexico State University graduate student who was tragically killed in 2003. Her parents, Dave and J.N. of Carlsbad, worked tirelessly to pass Katie's law in New Mexico, giving law enforcement enhanced tools to solve crimes and save lives. I was proud to partner with them to introduce the Katie Sepich Enhanced DNA Collection Law at the federal level to honor Katie's memory and to help other states pass their own version. I'm proud to say that two days after what would have been Katie's 32nd birthday, the Senate passed our bill unanimously. And shortly after, President Obama signed it into law. I invited the Sepich family to my Washington office to present them with signed copies. It was a proud day for a family we have come to know and admire. Because of their hard work, Katie's memory will live on. This year is the 10th anniversary of her death, and we sat down with J.N. to talk more about their journey, about getting the new bill passed, and how it's already helping other states pass a Katie's law of their own. Here's a clip. It's wonderful, of course, to have a federal bill named after Katie, but what's even more important is what it does. What, it, what this bill does is provide incentive implementation grants, one-time grants to states to allow them to overcome that hurdle of setting up funding so that they can take on arrestee testing DNA and get it implemented. Um, it's not an ongoing program where the federal government pays for something going forward. It's just a one-time grant so that states can get over that initial f funding hurdle. And then, of course, they take over the funding themselves to, to pay for their own programs. Well, it started in November when I, late November, when I got a phone call that our, our bill was moving in the House. And so, naturally, um, we started making phone calls and sending emails and reaching out to not only everyone we'd met here on the Hill, staffers and, and members of Congress, but also um, people that we'd worked with around the country, state legislators, asking them to call, um, lab people that we, crime lab people that we'd worked with across the country, and asking them to call. And so we had, we had people all across the country making phone calls and sending emails and asking for this law to indeed move forward. And it did. And we were just so incredibly excited when we found out that it had passed the House by a two-thirds majority. And then, of course, because of the late date, we had to have unanimous consent of the Senate. And we got the word that there were no holes left on our bill and that 100 senators had said, yes, this is what we want to do. We were absolutely thrilled. That was to mark the five-year anniversary of Katie's murder. And we founded the nonprofit uh, Association DNA Saves, and our goal is just to spread the news about the power of DNA, how it can can truly save lives, and that's you know that was why it was founded, and and we've been able to move forward through that organization. After Katie's law passed in 2006 in New Mexico, it was the sixth state to pass an arrestee DNA testing law. So we had 44 more states that needed this law. We decided as a family to take that on as our mission. We've already seen such a tremendous uh, result of passing the Katie Seppich Enhanced DNA Collection Act. State crime labs are very anxious to see arrestee DNA testing passed in their states. And it, it does send a message when the United States Congress says this is something that we'd like to see move forward and we're providing grants in order to see that that happens. It makes a difference. You know, we've been so incredibly grateful of the support we've had from our congressional delegation, from uh, our, our representatives, and also, of course, from Senator Udall and Senator Bingham and before he retired. We've had tremendous support and we just want to say thank you. She was our sunshine. That's what we called her. We called her sunshine. I was proud to work with the Sepich family on this sensible solution, and I look forward to seeing their work expand in all 50 states. It's very inspiring to see New Mexicans doing such tremendous work for others.